Hello everyone. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about how to create sub accounts. So, if you don't know what sub accounts are, sub accounts are paystacks, a paystack feature that allows uh, you to split a payment between you and another account that is another uh, bank account. So, here is a typical scenario. Um, you are helping an organization receive money on your pay staff account. So, uh, say a, a school PTA or an association, they are collecting their dues, and you agree with them that you're going to create, uh, you're going to use your pay staff account to receive money for them, but then you want a percentage of every single uh, payment that was received. So what, what the sub account feature does for you is that it allows you to create what we call a sub account for the organization and you enter the organization's bank account and such that when a transaction comes in, the rule of the sub account splits that you specify while creating the sub account applies and then the money is split between your bank accounts and the sub accounts bank account um, so we're just going to jump right in into how to create it so when you log into your paystack dashboard on the menu here you're going to see sub account on the split payment and when you click it this page is going to load uh, to create a new sub account at the top right corner here you see new sub account and uh, so when you click that this option is going to load so here you are going to enter the bank account of the sub account you're creating. Now remember, the sub account is how you identify the organization or whoever it is that you're receiving uh, the payment on behalf of. So in this case, uh, let's say the organization or the school, we're going to, for the rest of this video, we're just going to assume we are receiving payments on behalf of a school's PTA association. So we're going to enter the PTA association's bank account here. Um, so we're going to select uh, the, so the account number here. Uh, Alright, good. So the account name here is how you want to identify uh, this sub account on your Paystack account. So as you can see in the background here, there are two existing sub accounts that I named Ikeja Outlet and Headlamp, Toyota Headlamps. This one we're going to name it School PTA. So this is not the name of the bank account, although you can name it the name of the bank account. But this is just a way for you to identify this sub account on your Paystack account. Alright, so how is the payment going to be split? So, assuming that we agreed with the school to take 10%, I'm just going to come here and type 10%. So, my share of the payment is 10% and the sub account gets 90%. So, uh, as you can see, we're still in test mode. Uh, so, I want this sub account to be available when I go live. If you're already live, you're not going to see this checkbox, so you can just uh, ignore this. Um, so, once I create this now, um, the sub account is going to be created. Uh, so right here, you can see the sub account has been created. So the school PTA, that's the name. This is the bank account. Uh, this is it, the school PTA gets ten percent, and the remaining ninety percent goes to the sub account, which is the school PTA's bank account. This bank account. Uh, all right. So like I explained, once a payment is made, that includes this sub account, 10% uh, of the payment goes to you. So it will go into the bank account that is uh, linked to this your pay stack account. And then 90% is going to go into this bank account that is linked to this PTA account, this uh, PTA sub account. So a few things to note about sub accounts. One is that sub accounts get settled every day. So when transactions are made every day, at the end of, by the next day, Paystack is going to automatically pay all the money, or each of the transactions, the accumulation of the 90% of the, 
of each of the transactions that include the SOL account is going to be paid into this bank, uh, access bank account. That is this uh, account that is linked to the SOL account. And then the rest will be paid into the bank account that is associated with your Paystack account. Right. So in, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to use SOL account on the payment pages, on Paystack payment pages. And in another video, we are going to talk about how developers can include sub-accounts when they are initializing transactions. Thank you so very much.